Finally, it's here. I get to make a one weird trick video. I'm an actual YouTuber. All right, we're going to do uh, definite integral and the u substitution. So a question like this. Now, the weird trick doesn't come until after I've done most of the integration. So I'm going to do most of the integration really fast. Not on the definite integral, but on the indefinite integral first. So I'm going to integrate this uh, up to a point. So all of that's our u substitution. We let this equal u. We found the derivative. We rearranged it. So dx equals du over 2x. And then we subbed in our u and we subbed in that for dx. Moved um, 3 over 2 out the front. Integrated. And then those 3 over 2 and that 2 over 3 cancelled out. And we got that. Okay. That's something you should already know how to do. And this is where the weird trick comes in. Okay, if we're going to find the integral between 4 and 0 of this, we can find the integral uh, using this value here directly. All right, so we've got u to the 3 over 2. But we can't put 4 and 0 here because those are our terminals if our function is in terms of x. But our function's not in terms of x. Our function's in terms of u. So, we know that u equals x squared plus 9. And I know that I want this value to be 4. That is, I want the x value to be 4 here. So, if I sub 4 in there, I'll have 4 squared plus 9. I'll have 25. And I can put the value 25 in there. Now... If I want um, 0, where my x value is, I can say that u equals 0 squared plus 9, u equals 9. And now what I can do is, instead of putting in that x squared plus 9 and then going between 4 and 0, I can leave it in terms of u and I can go between 25 and 9. So subbing 25 in there, I'm going to get 25 cubed over 2 and minus subbing 9 into there, 9, 3, over 2. Now this is going to be 125, this is going to be 27, and our answer is going to be 98. Alright, uh, that is our one weird trick. I want to show you why it is really important though, because this was a relatively straightforward example. It would have been pretty easy to put x squared plus 9 back in here, and just work between 4 and 0. So this is a trickier one, uh, cos cubed x with respect to x. Now, it doesn't immediately look like u substitution, but let's forget about the definite integral for a minute and realize that cos cubed x can be written as cos x times cos squared x. And, of course, that can be written as cos x times 1 minus sine squared x with respect to x. And now that looks like u substitution because we're going to be able to sub u in for sine x and cos x is going to be some multiple of that derivative. All right, so I'm going to just jump through the next little bit here. So jumping through, uh, we let u equal sine x. The derivative is cos x. We rearrange du over cos x equals dx. We sub in u for sine x. So we get cos x bracket 1 minus u squared du cos x. The cos x's cancel out, and we end up with this neat little integral of 1 minus u squared uh, with respect to u. Now, the integral of that is going to be uh, u minus increase the power by 1, divide by the new power, so it should just be u cubed divided by 3, and then a little plus c on the end. Now, from here, it's one weird trick time. So, we're doing the integral of 1 minus uh, u squared uh, with respect to u. Now, I'm going to write it as a definite integral, which is this bit here, u minus u cubed on 3. I don't need the plus c here. Now, I was trying to find a definite integral of that between pi on 2 and 0, but that was with respect to x. So now I need to think about, well, what is that with respect to u? Well, we know that u equals sine x. So u equals sine pi on 2. That's going to give me my upper terminal here. And sine pi on 2, that's going to be 1. Okay, so my upper terminal here is going to be the number 1. And, uh, and between 0. So u equals sine 0. And that is 
zero. So zero is going to be my lower bound here. All right, so now I can just put one and zero there. I can sub one in here, one minus one cubed over three, uh, minus zero minus zero cubed over three, and one minus one, one third is two thirds. And all of that stuff becomes zero, so minus zero, we get zero. And we get a final answer of two thirds. This is great. And this is really where the, the key to it is, because if we didn't have this one weird trick, when we get to this stage, we'd have to put sine x into here, and we'd have to put sine x into here, and we'd have sine x minus sine cubed x, and then we'd have to put pi on 2 into sine cubed x, and cube sine pi on 2. We'd still end up at the same result, but the thing gets way messier. That's it. That's our definite integral, u substitution, and one weird trick.